Hello everyone, um, welcome to the DEPCONF Poetry Night. Um, just a short recap what you can expect from this session now. Um, there have been poetry nights in DEPCONF before. It's all started out in DEPCONF 12 in Nicaragua, where an open mic night or a poetry night was organized in a nearby bar and people went there and presented some texts, which was really, really nice. And, and uh, I'm sorry, I had to mute the stream because <laughs> you heard me talking over myself again. Um, and we had this also in Switzerland uh, with the campfire, which, which was really, really nice. In, Depcon 15 uh, in Heidelberg, it didn't work out that well um, and sort of faded away, but uh, different people asked me whether we can hold one again and I asked, yeah, if, if there are people willing to present the text, um, then I can organize the session. And so here we are. Um, there will be different people presenting texts that either they have written themselves or that are very meaningful to them. And they will give uh, a short introduction themselves. Um, and that's mostly how, it, uh, how it's going to work. Um, I think I'm going to start off with my text. Um, I'm not so sure if I should give too much background on it. Um, it's It was written in a poetry slam text style and I've presented it uh, at a German language poetry slam here in Vienna and it actually made the people where presented it uh, nominate me for a uh, poetry slam mastership. I, I, I'm still quite in awe about that, but I hope the text resonates with you quite well because parts of it were also influenced by happenings within the Debian community. And that's also the reason why I also translated it to English. So here it starts. It's so difficult. Don't tell me how difficult it is to remember my name. Don't tell me how difficult it is for you. Don't tell me how difficult it is to use correct pronouns. Don't tell me anything about that. It's difficult. What is difficult? Don't tell me how difficult it is for you. Don't tell me how difficult it is to not use the name that every time I hear hurts my inside. That for every person who hears it stores it with the wrong pronouns. That for every person who hears it plays the movie of man in a dress in their mind. So do not tell me how difficult it is to remember a name and correct pronouns. It's difficult to discuss whether the difference between a pussy head, which even the woman who created it understood that it is cis-sexist and trans-excluding because it equates body parts with gender, having to discuss why the symbol of the pussy head chokes you. And it's difficult to have to discuss why criticizing the pussy head has nothing to do with pictures of vulvas. Because fucking them, yes. I'm absolutely for a relaxed approach of vulvas. Yes, viva la vulva. I'd like to have one of my own after all. And here's the outing, so you finally can get rid of the question, what's in her pants? Which probably kept you occupied since the beginning and distracted from the text. Focus people. But it has to be possible to speak about the liberation of vulvas without every fucking time telling trans women that they aren't women, without every fucking time perpetuating biologisms, without every fucking time equating body parts with gender identity. It can't be that hard to break that sexism done fuck. 
So do not tell me how difficult it is to remember a name and correct pronouns. It's difficult to get told by relatives that it doesn't matter which political party they get involved in to annoy their mayor, as long as it's not his party. Difficult to hear then that they decided on a party that says that you have gender ideology and gender madness and thus call you a persona non grata who wants to destroy society. And it's difficult to be told that the party isn't that bad. So do not tell me how difficult it is to remember a name and correct pronouns. It's difficult to read within the software project whose community was supportive of your transition during the last 15 years to read within this community that it's just an opinion when a person denies to use pronouns of a person and wants to go by chromosomes instead. It's difficult to read essays on the origin of singular day, essays on why chromosomes aren't unambitious, and not a single person pointing out that you cannot see chromosomes. Besides that chromosomes are not identical with gender and chromosomes are not binary. Besides that it's difficult to read how cautiously and nicely others deal with that person who denies you your existence. While you have, to, while you have been told to not be so short tempered with defending yourself. So do not tell me how too difficult all this is for you. It's difficult to have to say at the airport that a rerouting of your flight through the United Arab Emirates is far from okay. Through a land where cross-dressing is forbidden, a country in which I'm definitely read that way. And it also happens here all the time. It's also difficult to see the puzzled face behind the desk then. And it's difficult to think for half a year about traveling to a conference in Brazil, the country which has the highest murder rate of trans people, to have to think about how you can present yourself there, to have to think about how you can move around there, to have to think about how likely is it for you to return from there. So do not tell me anything about it. I don't want to, I don't want to hear how difficult it is for you while me, we, have to fight to live, while me, we, have to fight to be loved, while me, we, have to fight to be seen as date able, while me, we, have to fight to not get abused, to not receive physical or psychological violence. So do not tell me anything about that, because it makes me want to puke. It doesn't let me sleep. It wakes me up at four in the morning and makes me write texts like this one. And I'm darn fucking tired of not being able to speak because of your ignorance. Um, yes, I know the text is quite, quite rough. Um, but actually, yes, it kept me uh, up at night and this text was actually written on the 24th of December last year. Um, so, but maybe someone else has a more hopeful and cheerful uh, text that they want to present. And I see the Chatan is raising his hands. So maybe you want to take the stage? Yes, please. Okay, so this is a poem uh, from a Mexican poet woman named Lina Ceron. And I will say it first in Spanish and after in English. So here is it. Acabar en ti. Quiero sentir cómo el desvanecimiento de mi luna acaricia tu alma. Cómo late mi corazón en tus sienes y cómo se mezcla nuestra realidad cotidiana para convertir tus mejores sueños en furtivas gotas de placer. Quiero enseñarte el camino del cansancio. 
atravesar lentamente tus muros y derribar la muralla de tu piel para inmortalizar mis delirios con tu risa corpórea y suave. Déjame bañarte de lujuria con mi boca, hacer una rebelión de amor con tus hormonas, aspirar el aroma de tu pecho y demostrarte cuánto te amo con la fatiga de mi cuerpo. Finish in you. I want to feel my moon fading and careless your soul, how my heart beats in your temples and how our daily reality is mixed to convert your best dreams in 40 drops of pleasure. I want to show you the path of fatigue, slowly walk through your walls and break down the wall of your skin to immortalize my delusions with your soft bodily luster. Let me bat you in loss with my mouth. Make a love rebellion with your hormones. Breathe in the aroma of your chest and show you much. I love you with the fatigue of my body. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Um, who else wants to come to the front? I think Andy, you raised your hand before also. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Um, mine is a song. I'm going to try and sing it. If I drop out after the first verse, you'll understand. Here's to DebConf 20, the brightest and best. Now it's this year as Orga team getting no rest. We've not met in Haifa, it's all doom and gloom. And I'm sat like a lifer here trapped in my room. I'm sat in my room, it's all doom and gloom. And I'm sat at my keyboard here trapped in my room. Now there's IRC rooms and there's Jitsi and all. But no fun conversations as we meet in the hall. No hugs for old friends, no shared wine and cheese. Just shared indigestion as we take our ease. I'm sat in my room, it's all doom and gloom. And I'm sat with three screens around me in my room. But there's people to chat to and faces we know. And new things to learn and we are all on the go. I'll go en espanol, there's no cause for alarm, an indic track showcasing Malayalam. I'm sat in my room, it's all doom and gloom, and I'm sat with my thinkpads and cats in my room. With webcams and buffering, with lag and delay, it's as well that there's debconf time all through the day. The effects of tiredness are hard to foresee, for the Debian clocks all a time zone UTC. I'm sat in my room, it's all doom and gloom, and I'll sing out of tune as I'm sat in my room. There's no social drinking, there's no games of mal. Keeping social distance, we can't think quite how. This year is still friendly, though minus some fun. We'll catch up next year when we'll all get some sun. I'm sat in my room, it's all doom and gloom. I'm sat with my friends around here in my room. There's Loopy at DeadConf and snippets and such to cheer us all up. Sure, it doesn't take much for we're all one big family, though we each code alone and we sometimes switch off or just complain and moan. I'm sat in my room, it's all doom and gloom. And there's space for us all in the DebConf chat room. This is my first DebConf, hope it won't be my last. And we'll meet up somewhere when this COVID is past. To all who have done this, we deserve the credit. Now if you'll excuse me, I've web pages to edit. I'm sat in my room, it's not all doom and gloom. And we're met as one Debian here in my room. That was very lovely and entertaining. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Um, I think Molly raised her hand before. Did I see that right? Yeah. Can you hear me OK? Yes, it's fine. Great. Cool. Uh, I'm outside because the weather is really beautiful. 
Um, so uh, I'm also going to do a song. This is one I wrote um, after I went to Fosdem one year. Um, and I can't really hear myself play it because I have headphones on. So we'll see how it works out. Art Nouveau was the thing till 1914. At least the city museum tells me so. Took the train from Central Station, heading west to Bruges. My ticket cost 30 returns. The novelty. Just the same. Every building's different than the one right next to it. Island curse, they buy a There are stars above the doorways, there are stars above your eyes. With things like these, we'll never see. Watching snow melt from the window of our rented room. Sun comes up at 10 a.m. You store all I pack my head into the library. Just the same. We fight in broken French while the landlord listens in. Doesn't like power, not married yet. I come home at 2 a.m. Smell of cheap smoke, expensive gin. I'm here to call it Just the same. I like being with you just the same. That's it. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um,
I think you did raise the hand before. Are you ready or? Yes, yep. I am. Perfect. Yeah, there were, yeah, it's a song I wrote during my NM process and have sung it during lonely nights behind the bar at DEPCONF 19. Maybe better not take it too seriously. Sometimes I feel like a new maintainer. Sometimes I feel like my only friend. Going through this weird process, not knowing what comes next. And not being able to see an end. I don't really know if I should be DD. Maybe I can't understand the FSG. To the MUP, I have agreed. Policy is what I still have to read. My AM disappeared long time ago. In ancient days, I got him assigned. Should I be patient or complain to front desk? Da, but to be honest, I really don't mind. I don't really know if I should be DD. Maybe I can't understand the FSG. To the MUP, I have agreed. Policy is what I still have to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. Thank you. <laughs> um, Raman, do you want to go next? Are you ready? Yep, I would like to go. So, my name is Raman and I'm from India. Now, I have a couple of pieces to choose from and I think I'll uh, go with a P piece that is that I wrote uh, after my exams once last year and I was in my room all alone and just couldn't sleep so the piece is titled night it's a short one it's 5 a.m. and I still can't sleep my thoughts my thoughts they keep haunting me deep during the day I am in the best of my spirits. I wonder what's wrong with the nights. I wonder if it's insomnia or is it just the cold. And just then, my mind laughs. Look at that lost 19 year old. I've always fancied the moon. It's night here right now. I've always fancied the moon. Beautiful, inspirational and bright. Little did I know. Like me, even he is alone through the night. You may think I am sad and ask me if I am all good. I would tell that I would tell that I am fine. All I need is just some food. Thank you. That was also interesting. <laughs> um. I think, um, Joost, um, shall we put on your video? Do you want to say something before or after I put on the video? Um, you're muted. Sorry, uh, just play the video. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, there we are. Okay, uh, I would like to read a poem by Charles Bukowski. It's called Some People. Some people never go crazy. Me, sometimes I lie down behind the couch for three or four days. They'll find me there. It's cherub, they'll say, and they pour wine down my throat. Rub my chest, sprinkle me with oils, then I'll rise with a roar, rant, rage, curse them and the universe as I send them scattering over the lawn. 
I'll feel much better. Sit down to toast and eggs. Hum a little tune, suddenly become as lovable as a pink overfed whale. Some people never go crazy. What truly horrible lives they must lead. Thanks. Um, do we have someone else in here who still wants to present something or hasn't yet? Um, yeah. Um, Bob F. Huffman. You have your hand raised? Yes. So, um, I would like to present a song without words. Uh, it's not written by me. It's from a concerto uh, written by Georg Philipp Telemann, which maybe some of you know. If you don't, well, don't feel uncomfortable. Many people don't know this name. Um, I have just to check how the acoustic preconditions are here. Yeah, so I think I have to mute my speaker, otherwise I will come in with the echo here, and this is not a good idea. And just give me a shout uh, in the chat if something is utterly wrong on your side. I want to add um, the recording is completely on, on my part. So, and it will start with an orchestral recording, so to speak, in the beginning. Just one moment. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
sweet, sweet. Um, now, Sahilista, um, I hope I pronounced it correctly. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, shall I start? Yeah. Yes, the stage is yours. Yeah. Uh, so, the poem I'm going to recite is uh, by uh, Nobel laureate Ravindana Teo, and it was published back in year 1912. The name of the poem is uh, Where the Mind is Without Fear. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up in fragments by the narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason that has not lost its way into the dairy desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action, into the he heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Um, yes, the next person will be a campus. Stage is yours. Okay. Uh, does every, everybody hears me? Yeah? My, my, okay, it's good. Okay. Uh, this song was meant for the loopy. Uh, I think this is a nice time to share it with you. Uh, I just wrote it for the DEPCON. I'm new here. Hope you. Uh, this. Uh, do you hear my, my guitar? Or well, I need to amplify it here? Okay. Um, Depth from 2020. I don't know how many. APT install. Free suffering my heart. Thank you all for your time. Thank you all for the vibes. Depth from 2020. Depth from 2020. That's it. <laughs> thank you, thank you very thank much. You. Um, <laughs> um, I think we are sort of ready for a second round from some people. Um, I th let's start with Chatan. Okay, so now. This is a poem from Jose Martí, a Cuban poet. And the name is Cultivo una rosa blanca. Cultivo una rosa blanca en junio como en enero. Era el amigo sincero que me da su mano franca. Y para el cruel que me arranca el corazón con que vivo, cardo ni ortiga cultivo, cultivo una rosa blanca. I grow a white rose. I grow a white rose in June and in January for the true friend who offers his honest hand. And for the cruel one who tears from me the heart I live with, not a pistol nor a nettle do I grow. I grow a white rose. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, and next, uh, Raman again. Yep. So I'd like to first perform it and then give some background info. So here it goes. Beautiful, fierce and magical you were. I didn't realize I believed in magic until you came by. You lit a cigarette to puff up some smoke and it was me who ended up high. We were shy at first. Our journeys had just begun, yet even after hours together, we were never done. Being a night person, I always fancied the moon. You showed me even roads and valleys had a tune. I know you didn't like it when we roamed through the market, 
for you were a diva and the highway was your red carpet walking through it alone now i searched the streets again and again because you were all i had and i hope you are waiting in the next lane i still have the key you are nearby i assume for dirt was your makeup and fuel your perfume so this uh, to give some background info about it this is a picture you need to see so any guesses what was this about so it was about a bike that got stolen this is the key that i still have thanks thank you um you did you wanted to go again yes it's a short i don't know if it's a poem what i wrote um living on irc talking to everyone and to no one visible one to anyone visible to anyone and to no one all the same time sitting isolated in your own docker container by trying to make yourself heard walking around in a mirror cabinet seeing people through, through a glass wall but cannot reach them queries promise connection but emphasize isolation we just have talked to each other you turned around it became silent where did you go an endless world of channels connection to another place that can be more real than what is outside the only place you are listened to enabling you to ask questions without looking like a fool forever meeting people talking about things being able to communicate getting answer and finding others being in the middle of it all irc can be both hell and heaven sometimes it's both at the same time thank you <laughs> um is there anyone else who wants to maybe say something i have a german language uh poem that i wrote last year for the coming out day it's uh the, the the core context of it is that um, existence is already a political statement especially for trans people in this society ich muss was teilen eine ein politisches statement ich existiere ich bin valide deine meinung brauche ich nicht trans menschen gibt es Früher gab's das nicht. Medizin spielt Gott, jedoch ist nicht die Wahrheit. Trans gab es immer. Medizin ermöglicht Leben und Selbstwertgefühl. Wie war es früher? Depression und Suizid. Selbsthass ganz massiv. Gender Dysphorie macht den Alltag zum Horror. Das ist kein Leben. Gender Euphorie gibt uns die Kraft zu leben. Blockiere uns nicht. Akzeptanz ist nicht schwer. Leben und leben lassen. Frag nach Pronomen. Respektiere sie. Anders sein ist nicht verkehrt. Leben ist divers. Der Zusammenhalt gibt einer Gesellschaft Kraft, nicht Angst oder Hass. Transmenschen gibt es. Du musst es nicht verstehen. Doch lass uns leben. Dies war mein Statement. Existenz ist politisch. Ich habe was geteilt. Um, it's also written in Haiku style, so it's uh, this three lines with the first and the third line in five syllables and the second line in seven uh, syllables. And we're coming towards 
the end of the session, if there isn't someone else who still feels encouraged um, to present something, I think, um, yeah, a campus, do you want to present the last piece? Okay. Uh, it's a, a, a poem that I wrote. I will, uh, it's in Spanish. Uh, then I, I could translate it in English if there's time. Um, okay, here I have it. Okay. Dice, eh, el pasado fue traslúcido. Creí viajar libremente. Creí que la mente era el camino para transformar mi realidad. No consideré a más seres. Era como volar entre nubes, olvidando que las nubes eran otros que empujaban mi viaje a la eternidad. Cuando se van los otros, las nubes y los seres, cuando te quedas solo en un retroceso inmanejable, te hundes en la corriente, tus huesos en tu mesen, y al final solo entiendes que esta es y siempre ha sido tu verdad. Ah, uh, it's... It's not a happy poem. I, I, I could translate it. If, if there's time around that. Uh, um, no. Yeah, we are. Yeah, three yeah, more minutes. Yeah, three more minutes. Okay. Well, uh, in English, it will not sound the same. But the idea is that uh, my past was uh, translucent. I thought I could uh, travel uh, freely with freedom. I thought that the mind was the path to transform my reality. I, I didn't consider other beings. Uh, it was like flying uh, in, in clouds, uh, forgetting that the clouds was others uh, who pushed me to my travel to eternity. When the others goes uh, the clouds in the beings when you are alone in a uh, I don't know how to say like alone backwards and you can stop that going backwards uh, you you drown and and your bones feel like you don't you don't feel the bones and you understand that this is uh, this is the way it has been Always, no? Uh, it's, it's a sad poem, but it, it is a poem. <laughs> okay, that, that's it. Thanks. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> very much. Uh, thank you all for presenting here. Um, and I hope it was enjoyable for, for all the people on the stream. Um, I know there's always this kind of... Uh, reluctant to present with a bigger audience, but I'm quite happy that a few people were willing to take this risk and um, thank you all for for being here. It was really, really enjoyable. See you.